Okay, people, so we have a new Entertainment Squad joint for you this week, and it is Dying to Sleep, right, which is directed by Paris Dillon. He wrote the film with Patchmore and Muneb Raymond. The film is produced by Dylan and Mike Hermosa, executive produced by Sarah Lydia Sophia, and associate produced by Kyle Stefanski. Jesse Bilson handled the music, Manib Raman, cinematography, Mike Hermosa and Matthew Coleshill edited the piece, Catherine Mubasa did the casting, James Flock production design, art direction is Alison Kelsey Joseph, uh, Daniela Delgado was on uh, hair and makeup, and our cast, right, well, Mary is played by Sarah Lydia Sophia, her brother Joe is played by Paris Dillon. Her um, dad, Martin Swanson, is played by Ray Abrasonen. Her mum, Helen, is played by Maria Pinsent. Uh, her best friend, Jen, is played by Victoria Baldassara. Right, um, Joe's best friend Tommy is played by Jatan Gilbert. We've got her therapist Rachel, played by Deputy Kinga Mickelson. Um, there is doo -doo 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 -doo. her doctor, Dr. Ted Palmer, played by Eric Roberts. Um, her manager at a comi comedy coffee, ooh, coffee shop, Nick, played by Dave Sheridan. Um, then there's the holistic doctor, Francis Timothy Cyrus. Um, no, that's his son, actually, Francis Timothy Cyrus, played by Alex Kiva. And Dr. Frank Cyrus is played by Dar Dixon. And Patchmore is a farmer. So, uh, yeah, that's the cast. And the gist of the film is this. Terrifying nightmares, a broken family, and a mysterious holistic doctor haunt Mary as she searches for the strength to find forgiveness amongst dark betrayals. So there we go. Now... I thought this film, you know, started uh, interestingly, right? Because you've got Mary. It is dark. She's outside. And it looks like, oh, man, she might be injured. She's struggling to get into a house. The door opens. It's a surprise birthday party. And she's just pulling a bag full of her laundry, right? But I, it, it did throw you. Right, you're thinking, oh fuck, what's gonna happen here? What are we doing? What's going on? Right? It's her birthday, right? So she's having a part. Well, I think it's the day before the birthday, right? I don't quite get what's going on. Because like you have all of this, and they're like, Oh yeah, it's her birthday. Happy birthday. Just but then the next day. His conversations like, oh, let's go out tonight. No, it's Mary's birthday. Wait, it's Mary's birthday? I didn't know it's Mary. I'm like, wait, what? How are you? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, yo, how how the fuck are you not knowing? Right? There's some, yeah, there's like you don't really understand a lot of the relationships in this film. I think that's a big thing, you know, because. Yeah, that, that's the thing, right? Tom, because it's the best friend, her brother's Joe's best friend, um, Tommy. He's the one that's like, oh, I didn't know it was her birthday, her actual birthday. And you're just like, okay, how, because it seems like 
she knows Tommy, but then on the the you know night of the party, the way they leave, it feels like something might be up, right? And I mean, there is that with some of the characters where you're just like, yo, what's the relationship here? Like, are these people really friends? What's the deal? You know, which is very odd. It is a bit odd. Like it, we we open up, and there's this kind of this thing happens. This this car accident, kind of. Right. I mean, yeah, it is a little baffling how what happens happens. Right. I'm, I did, I was scratching my head and be like, yo, how should we do that? You know what I mean? But it, you know, it happens, right? But then everything that spins out of that, I'm scratching my head a bit on, right? It, it's not always clear. Like, there is a jump in time, which... I didn't feel was very clear at all. And they're referencing, because they're referencing the accident, but the way they're talking about it, you're assuming something else must have happened. Something crazier must have happened. But it, it, it yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, you're, I don't know, man. I felt a little bit thrown. I felt a little bit wrong. I think there's certain things that are getting referenced that happened off camera, but we're not quite sure when. Like, there's a little bit of a beef between her and the mum, right? And you're just like, wait, when was this said? Like, what's happening here? You know? Because I think knowing that plays into and helps, I think, build like that empathy for the feelings there. You know, because you you see the mum doing stuff, and you're just like, okay. So, like, why is there still the beef, man? You know, and it, so it gets super. I felt it wasn't clear. Right, there's conversations that happen that again can make it feel like how good of friends are these people, right? What, what's what's happening? You know, what are we doing here? It, it, it's just a bit odd. And I don't know, like, we're doing things that you're just like, no one's doing that. Like, no one's getting out of their car on their own, in the middle of the night, or walking to a spot in the middle of the night to see, check something out, or going some, like, you're just like, yo, this isn't the actions of a, a normal person, like, what are we, what are we doing here, you're getting, as you say, the, the, there's these nightmares, there's these fears, and all of this, but we have the internet now, I mean, this is a big thing, right? With a lot of films, the the, it, the way people act is like we don't have a way to look up information, right? And finding truths. Because you're going on, oh, I did this thing, but there's no evidence. There's absolutely no evidence. So it, it makes no sense that there is this, oh, I did this thing. Right, there's just no sense of it all, right? The way the doctors are acting is just weird, you know? And then you think, if you're looking for a new doctor, surely you do research, right? Surely you do some research. You, you're not just taking what someone random is saying for for gospel you know what I mean and then there's just the question of 
Because the ending makes no sense. Because you're like, well, everything was discovered from a sign. So why would the sign be there? You know, it, <sighs> there's some interesting ideas here. I just thought the execution was a little bit all over the place. Like you had to suspend your, you know what I mean, imagination, right? Because you're just like, yo, there's a mad potholes, mad potholes here, right? Now, I do understand, you know what I mean? Listen, people put their heart and soul into these things and there's mad respect to that. You know what I mean? Because, like, I ain't made a film. So, you know what I mean? When you're, like, looking at these things and you're going, mm, I don't know if that works. It's just like, all right, well, at least they did a thing. Like, could I have done it? You know what I mean? So it's not trying to disrespect the hard work that goes in. Because regardless of what you feel... Still a lot of hard work has gone into it. But, yeah, it, it, it's just one of them things where it's just like, it doesn't quite work for me. It doesn't quite work for me. But um, uh, it, it's trying to think of what this, uh, like the comparison I would throw up with this one. Um I mean, you've got like the Raven, right? That that came out earlier. Was that earlier in the year or like towards the end of last year? Man, my memory can suck. Jeez. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just say the Raven, though, right? Like there were things that happened in that film that were just like, all right, that's interesting. But it doesn't always make sense. It doesn't quite add up all the time. Um, so there's like other things. Ooh. Like from Black, you know, that shud other Shudder uh, film. Um Again, like there were some interesting ideas, but it didn't quite, I feel, hold up all the way through. So, yeah, I would say if those are things you enjoyed, you know, if those were your jam, right, then maybe dying to sleep, right, maybe that will work for you as well, you know, it will be out on the 24th, that's Monday, people, so, uh, yeah, you know, you'll be able to grab it, um, I think it's dropping in cinemas, and it's available on VOD, so, uh, yeah, there you go, people, dying to sleep.